Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. During the analyst meet of 17th May 2023, HL has revealed several information regarding its ongoing project. The most important one is LCA Tejas Mark 1A regarding which we are going to discuss in this video as there were lot of news recently being published by various media articles stating that delivery of LCA Tejas Mark 1A will be delayed. So to begin with, we'll talk about the first flight of LCA Tejas Mark 1A. HL has officially reported that LCA Tejas Mark 1A took its maiden flight on 28th May 2022, which is exactly an year ago. Answering to the questions related to the delay of LCA Tejas Mark 1A, which is in news quite recently in media, the HAL chairman has said that as per contracted schedule, the delivery of LCA Mark 1A should commence from February 2024 onwards. In current financial year, HL is supposed to deliver one fighter and two trainers. HL is on track and the delivery involves certification of various new components which are included in LCA Mark 1A. HL is working along with ADA on certification of these components so that delivery will be on time. HL has already commenced the construction of LCA Mark 1A airframes, which will be ready in the next 3 to 4 months. As and when systems of LCA Mark 1A gets certified, it will be integrated with the aircraft's airframe and HL expects to commence the ground tests in next 8 to 10 months time frame. So if there are any delays, it will not be significant. And HL is working towards ensuring that aircrafts are delivered as per the contractual schedule. HL is expected to deliver three LCA Mark 1A in the current financial year, that is from March 2023 to March 2024, and from next year, 16 aircrafts will be delivered every year. HL has also inaugurated the third LCA division in Nasik. With two LCA division at Bengaluru, HL can deliver 16 aircrafts per year. However, with the third LCA division, HL will be able to deliver all 83 Tejas a year before the schedule. So even if HL shortfalls of one or two aircraft in the current financial year due to certification of certain parts, it will be able to make it up in the subsequent years very easily. So the main hurdle, as you can understand before HL, is certification of the new components. And we all know that each and every component of an aircraft must be certified. This may delay initial delivery, which is planned in this financial year. But once they are certified, HL will be able to deliver aircraft at a rate of more than 16 aircrafts per year. As reported by HL multiple times, it will be able to complete the delivery of 83 LCA Mark 1A one year prior to the contracted timeline. The LCA Mark 1A is going to be super critical for Indian Air Force, which is losing its fighter jet squadrons at faster pace but not able to replenish them with any other fighter jet. As of 2023, Indian Air Force has 31 operational fighter jet squadrons against the sanctioned strength of 42. Air Force operates 12 squadrons of Su-30 MKI, 6 squadrons of Jaguars, 3 squadrons of MiG-21, 3 squadrons of Mirage 2000, 3 squadrons of MiG-29 UPG, 2 squadrons of LCA Tejas Mark 1 and 2 squadrons of Rafale. The Indian Air Force squadron is set to dwindle further as the remaining 3 MiG-21 squadrons are slated to phase out by 2025. This will be followed by the phasing out of six squadrons of aging Jaguar fleets starting from 2027-28 and will continue till 2035. With the phasing out of JAX and MiG-21, Indian Air Force will be losing nine squadrons by 2035. Talking about MiG-29s, they were inducted into Indian Air Force in 1986. The first life extension program of the fighter jet was undertaken in mid-2000s. The then Defence Minister A.K. Antony had stated in Parliament that MiG-29's technical life was being extended from 25 years to 40 years to meet the Indian Air Force operational requirements. However, the MiG-29 fleet 
will complete its 40 years in next couple of years and the enhanced technical life of MiG-29 aircraft will begin expiring from 2025 onwards. The three squadrons of MiG-29 UPG will also begin their phasing out from 2029 and will be completely phased out by 2035. Indian Air Force is planning to undertake a second life extension program on its fleet of MiG-29 frontline fighter jets which will enhance their lifespan from 40 years to 50 years. However, by 2035, Indian Air Force will phase out six its squadrons of fighter jets which will consist of three Mirage 2000 and three MiG-29 squadrons. So by 2035, Indian Air Force would have phased out 15 squadrons of fighter jet. By 2029, Indian Air Force will be adding four more squadrons of LCA Tejas Mark 1A. The production of LCA Mark 2 is also expected to commence from 2030 in full swing, which will be adding to the fighter jet squadron strength. Around the same time, we would see the fighter jets added to Indian Air Force inventory as a part of MRFA program. AMCA is expected to enter into production only after 2032. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.